It's my feel good breakfast show. A very good morning. Welcome back to the show on this Wednesday morning. As we take a moment to reflect on the news headlines of yesterday, where it was reported that at least one person has been killed and roughly 240 others injured on Tuesday when two trains collided at the, De uh, the Denver train station in Johannesburg South. Now, now joining us on the line to give us the latest on the accident is spokesperson for the Passenger Rail Agency of South Africa, Moffat Mofukeng. Thank you very much for taking our call, Moffat. Uh, morning, morning, and thank you very much. Uh... Could you maybe give us an indication, uh, does Prasa have any, any kind of indication as to what may have caused this accident between the two trains? Well, we don't know um, at this stage, so we cannot uh, speak authoritatively on what uh, the cause of the accident was. Um, however, we do know that uh, we, we, Prasa and the uh, rail safety regulator, will be conducting investigations. Uh, we've done some investigations this day, and uh, those investigations will be continuing. Um, and, and we'll be continuing until we, we find out what really happened. Yes. Now, I understand that paramedics are, at the moment, uh, on the scene working uh, to free the trapped passengers in the carriages. Can you maybe give us an indication of what the current status is of the, the passengers that were on board? No, they, they're not there now. They were there uh, yesterday morning, and uh, all the passengers who were on the trains, the two trains, mm -hmm. uh, were taken to different uh, hospitals. Uh, in fact, 240 were taken to different hospitals. Uh, those with the minor injuries were examined and were released. Um, there are a few that are still at the hospital. We, the group CEO of Prasa, Ms. Montana, yesterday went to Charlotte McCraig to visit some. He also went to Mill Park Hospital to visit uh, the train driver. Mm -hmm. She is still at the hospital. At the hospital, she is in a critical condition. Uh, one employee of Prasa who worked uh, as a train guard uh, died uh, yesterday. We will be having a press conference this morning and uh, we'll give some details there. Uh, Mm -hmm. about that and we're going to go to her family this afternoon and once all those processes have been done we will then inform the public and even him, a colleague at Plaza about the funeral arrangements and all of that. Yeah. And uh, the current status of the train lines that obviously were affected as, as a result of the debris that uh, has been spread across the scene there, can you give us a bit of a, uh, insight on that? Yes, the, the, the trains uh, from the other different regions are um, uh, uh, around Houting are functioning as normal. Uh, the passengers who use the Business Express and uh, those who use the train from Pretoria mm -hmm. uh, are being uh, transported by uh, buses. So there is really no uh, disturbance on the line uh, at the stage. Uh, but the trains, when they get to uh, the station just before uh, Denver, they divert to another line and then they reconnect at, at George Cox station and then they continue until they get to join us back. So the, the, the trains are, are, are running um, as normal. However, the, the, we understand the trauma that uh, some of the colleagues have gone through. That is why we decided uh, not to put them through this thing today, mm -hmm. uh, but to take them on the buses. Mr. Mufukin, thank you very much for taking our call this morning. Thank you very much. And of course, there on the line was Prasa spokesperson Moffat Mofukin giving us some insights into the train accident that happened yesterday in Johannesburg South. And indeed, we send our thoughts and our prayers to the families who have uh, lost loved ones in this accident and of course to those that are recovering from this. And uh, Prasa offices at Park Station will be open from 7 a.m. today to deal with any concerns that passengers may have. Of course, passengers that were involved in the crash. That's the latest where that's concerned. But right now, let's catch up on the latest news headlines.